replay viewers and everyone else who is joining today to talk about cortisol, the stress hormone. Our fight song today felt fitting because as busy women, oh my goodness, we are always fighting against stress, the stress hormone cortisol, and we're looking at ways today, I'm gonna to share actually five ways that you can fight cortisol. Okay, so we're talking about how to fix your fat fighting hormones, but I first wanted to just show you the effects of cortisol on the body. Hey, Christy, so glad you can join us, yeah. So look at this screen and look what look what cortisol does to you. Depression, it decreases your metabolism, it decreases your immune system, it can cause arthritis, hunger, can make you hostile, Oh, acid reflux, tunnel vision, migraines, sleep deprivation, fatigue, hypertension. We're talking about the stress hormone cortisol today and I'm telling you what, ladies, this is one that you do not wanna miss. So really quickly, tell me, hey, where are you? Tell me where you're coming in from. Good. I am so excited to chat with everyone today. Yeah, cortisol is not good news. Not good news. Charlotte, Goldsboro, Ohio, Texas, Idaho. Awesome. Hey, everybody. Okay. Hey, so um, I'm Kate, for those of you who don't know me, and I help women from all across the globe. We have the Beyond Fit Army. Seriously, it's like worldwide. And I help women with their training, with their nutrition, and with, now you guys know this by now, the missing piece of of the puzzle and that is fixing your fat fighting hormones so um, you can find out all about me all over social media beyond fit mom on Facebook and on Instagram um, and also you can download my own personal workouts and recipes and a schedule and everything that you need to live a healthy, happy and balanced life. All of that's at beyondfitlife.com. So I wanna know who's new to the scope. I'm gonna share five ways to reduce elevated cortisol today. But first, tell me if you're new and tell me your name. What's your name and tell me if you're new. And then if you're a sister, if you're a Beyond Fit Life sister, will you please um, comment and say sister and give me your name too because screen names are so confusing to me. Yeah, hey, um, okay, so we can talk about calories and macros. That's a whole nother post, but um, we will talk about that. I have that on my list to talk about on Periscope, so follow me and we'll do a whole nother, a whole nother scope about that. Um, or we can talk about it at the end, how about that? Stephanie, hey, Casey, hey, Christy, hey, Maria, hey, 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 um, D, hey, okay. So um, I want you to share this broadcast by swiping to the right, if you're on an iPhone, swiping up, I have this weird hair. If you're on an Android and clicking share, make sure you're following so you get all of the updates for um, all of our broadcasts. Now today we're talking about cortisol. We've been talking about hormones all week. And cortisol is a big one, it's a stress hormone. Uh, by a show of hearts, how many of you think that you have elevated cortisol levels? Think your stress might be kinda through the roof at some point or another? Yes. Okay, so um, cortisol is a very important hormone to understand. It's not all bad. Um, there are some good benefits of cortisol. It's like a fight or flight hormone, which is awesome, right? If you like um, need a quick response. But when cortisol levels are elevated over time, that's when we get an issue. So I just wanted to mention that because I think that's something that's kind of misunderstood. Like cortisol, cortisol isn't all completely all terrible and bad. There are good things about cortisol. But um, in general, what happens for women is that their cortisol levels are elevated over time and they're too high for too long. And that's when you have issues with your fat burning. Okay, so today I'm going to share five ways that you can reduce your cortisol. Now, I didn't want to get too geeky about all of the crappy stuff that cortisol does because that's 
like we could talk all day about that. So I showed you on the screen some of the effects of having elevated cortisol, things like depression. Now, you guys know I love uh, emojis. So like I want emoji flows and heart flows, like whatever you feel like sharing, right? And I need a um, sister to be a secretary. So you guys got me covered? Cause I'm so chatty. You gotta keep me, you gotta keep me on track. Okay. Okay, so we're ready. So depression, like crappy moods, um, decreased metabolism, bloating, digestion issues. We talked all about that in the hormone cortisol on our probiotics um, scope. Cortisol stalls fat burning. Cortisol causes decreased muscle mass. Um, like I said, it slows your metabolism. It can cause just like an array of problems. Acne, like it, the, the list of elevated cortisol issues when it's elevated over time is crazy. So today we're gonna to talk about five ways, just five. Um, these are real life tips. So one thing that I'm not about, I'm not about like a bunch of crazy supplements. Now I did tell you on a previous scope, the five supplements that I recommend. And I hope that you guys found that helpful. If you missed that, you can watch the replays at catch with a K dot M E slash beyond fit mom. Okay. So we talked about five supplements that I recommend. I'm not all into, yeah, I love the ant, the ant emoji is our beyond fit army emoji we're like an army of little ants trying to make a difference in the fitness industry um, okay so you can catch up on all of that um, for the replays but today we're talking about five ways that you can um, lower elevated cortisol the first this is simple guys this is sleep and I know um, I know it's tough as you're a busy mom it's tough a lot of times to get the sleep that you need um, but sleep like we talked about yesterday with the hormone HGH sleep absolutely matters okay so a lack of sleep what happens is a lack of sleep is actually gonna signal your body to release cortisol and um, so the first and the most important thing that you can do I'm really serious um, when you have elevated cortisol levels is to work on making sure that you get enough sleep okay so sleep is number one who's my secretary you gonna write sleep okay so we've got the emoji with the um, like little Z's the sleep guy yeah there you go Christy I love it okay so sleep is number one two overtraining long duration cardio sessions it elevates cortisol. Any training, in fact, is going to elevate cortisol for a period of time. But the problem with long duration cardio sessions is that it elevates your cortisol levels for just flat too long, right? So um, you, you're going to stress your body in an unnecessary way. So for optimal recovery and for optimal hormonal balance, you want to focus on short duration, high intensity workouts. Now, what type of workouts are those? You guys know they are the Beyond Fit Life workouts. Beyond Fit Life workouts are amazing. And um, if you struggle with sto fat storage around your middle, I have been there. Um, I've seen like three main, in all of the ladies I worked with, thousands of women across the globe, I've seen three main types of kind of tummy troubles. And one of them is a slim but stressed tummy. That's what I call it. And um, you can actually Google Beyond Fit tummy trouble tummy trouble types and you'll find that article and you can see which category you fit into there's a post baby there's a slim butt stress and there's like a digestive bloating um, but if you think you're the slim butt stressed tummy type you hold fat storage around your middle so typically like your arms and stuff you'll be good um, but then like around your middle you're just gonna kind of be puffy and so you got your 20 pound weights yesterday awesome I love it yay um, so if you think that you fall into this category, overtraining might be an issue. I was guilty of this for years, okay? So you wanna make rest and recovery a priority, not just with the type of workouts that you do, so not overtraining, not doing workouts that are just too long um, or like too many days a week, right? Sh more's not better, better's better. You guys know that, right? Um, but you also want to include like stress reducing activities into your training plan. So when possible, do things like restorative activities, like walking, leisurely walking. Um, you wanna do yoga. Um, I don't know why the sound's muted, I'm sorry. Can you guys hear me? I, th I think I'm talking pretty loud. I, you know, I'm kind of loud. Let me know by show of hearts if, if you can hear me okay. If not, maybe just, yeah, okay. So try um, try the replay if, if you're having trouble or you can log back out and log back in. 
Okay, so tip number one, get enough sleep. Tip number two, avoid overtraining. Tip number three, include stress reducing activities. Make rest and recovery a priority. So quiet times to de-stress, taking a leisurely walk, doing yoga, stretching, foam rolling. I love foam rolling. It's amazing for rest and recovery and it does awesome things for your body. Um, it does awesome things for your body. Yeah, I think you guys can hear me okay though. Um, thank you. Uh, you can, right? Yeah, you can hear me, I think. Like, tell me if you can hear me. Yeah. Okay, so here's another one. Anti-stress supplements. So I'm not into taking a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of supplements. Okay, good, thanks. Um, but your, yeah, foam rolling's your BFF. I love it. But some things that can help are things like B vitamins, um, so vitamin C, BCAAs are very helpful. That's kind of like an anti-stress supplement that you can t you can take. Um, there are lots of different antioxidants and stuff. If you're not getting these from a healthy diet, then that's something to consider. But hopefully, your your nutrition is um, yeah stress B perfect is on track enough that you're getting most of these things from a healthy diet. But that's something that I wanted to mention there too. Okay, um, Tulsi tea is a tea that you can make. Um, I should take you to my pantry. I have some in there, but it's really good. And that, that has uh, some adaptogens that have, you know, studies have been done looking at them that they may decrease cortisol levels. So, um, you know, supplements are always a small rock, but it's something to consider. Yeah, I sip on mine throughout the day. I always have them with my workout. And then um, around like mid-afternoon, I'll just mix some up and I'll, I'll sip on them throughout the afternoon, throughout the day. Yeah, so that works good. Okay, so we've got sleep. We've got avoid overtraining. We've got make like stress reduction activities, leisurely walking, foam rolling, that sort of thing. Tulsi, T-U-L-S-I. Mm -hmm. I can post that on Facebook if you guys are interested. Yeah, and we'll and I'll I'll do a blog post to recap all of this too. Would that be helpful? Show of hearts if you'd like that. When do I have time to do a blog post? I just committed myself to something. Oh, okay, but I'll try to do that for you. Okay. Yeah, if you promise to share this tip, this broadcast, and you will share um, share with your friends, I will work on a blog post for you, okay? Um, so the amount of BCAAs, it's gonna be different for everybody based on your weight, but you can Google Beyond Fit BCAAs and you'll see a breakdown there. It's typically five grams for the first 100 pounds and then another five grams for every 50 pounds over that. Yeah, okay, so sleep. Stress reduction activities, um, avoid overtraining, anti-stress supplements is something to consider, BCAAs, making sure you're eating proper nutrition, vitamin C, that sort of thing. Um, how about this? This is the last one, consider your caffeine. Now here's the thing guys, I love my coffee. Um, yeah, my mom's on it. I love my coffee and so um, I'm not telling you that you can't drink coffee. Okay, so do you hear me loud and clear? Like, I need the coffee emoji right now just to make sure that you guys know how much I love coffee and that I'm not telling you you can never have coffee. Okay, coffee emoji, I'm waiting. Waiting for the coffee emoji. Okay, so I love coffee and I'm not telling you that you cannot have coffee. Thank you guys. Okay, I love you guys so much. Yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, but here's what you need to do. If you think that you might struggle from high cortisol levels, then you want to pay attention to your caffeine intake, okay? So for people with normal cortisol levels who've got their fat fighting hormones kind of balanced out, there's nothing wrong with a couple of cups of coffee, okay? You get that? But for people with high levels of cortisol, caffeine can spike cortisol levels that might impact, you know, your progress if you're already having high levels. So here's kind of what research is showing is like a good amount. 200 milligrams of caffeine, that's like a 12 ounce mug of coffee. That is showing that that can increase blood cortisol levels and all the studies and stuff that they've done by um, 30% okay, in one hour. So 200 milligrams of caffeine, that's like 12 ounces of coffee. Studies are showing that that much coffee can increase blood cortisol levels by 30% in just one hour. So why is that important? Well, 
There's nothing wrong, like I said, with increased cortisol levels for a period of time. The problem, so like spikes in cortisol throughout the day are normal. The problem is for women who have elevated cortisol all day long. So if you're under a stressful situation and it's just stress, 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 or you're over training so your levels are already up here, instead of training, recovering, training, recovering, all of those elevated cortisol levels, that's what's gonna be the problem. So when it comes to caffeine, right, um, you wanna remember that it's elevated cortisol over time. So you could limit caffeine to like the morning hours, um, or you know, you could even cut it out altogether and just see how your body responds. But the, the main thing that you need to think about when we're talking about cortisol is that it's elevated cortisol over time that's the issue. So the right type of training is going to increase cortisol, and there's nothing wrong with an increase in cortisol. The problem comes when the increase in cortisol is high all the time. Does that make sense to you guys? Is that clear? I want to make sure that you really have a true understanding because um, the, the issue of cortisol, it's kind of overplayed in the fitness industry. Like people want to scare you. It's, it's, I hate this. I seriously hate this about the fitness industry. They're like, they, they, they do things off of fear. And um, that's why we're going to do fitness better. Beyond Fit Army, ha hashtag Beyond Fit Army, the army of ants, right? Because a lot of people, in the fitness industry, just want to make a buck. And I'm just being real with you. I have my degree in exercise physiology. I've been in this industry for over 10 years and I've seen it time and time again. They are more interested in freaking you out, making you think that cortisol is so terrible that you need to buy their special pill or do their special whatever to lower your cortisol levels. They don't care about educating you. They don't, I mean, they just want you to buy their crap. Okay, so we are different here. Like, I want you to understand, cortisol is not all bad, okay? So it's not just like, any cortisol is terrible and you have to get rid of everything. No, like a good spike in cortisol is fine. It's when it's elevated over time, that's the issue. So five ways that you can keep cortisol from being elevated over time. You don't want it elevated over time, you want a good healthy spike, right? You can sleep. That lowers your cortisol, brings it down. Maybe your cortisol is high after training. Don't overtrain. Don't train two days in a row and keep that high. You want to dip back down. Focus on some rest and recovery type activities like leisurely walking, like five minutes of stretching, foam rolling. Um, consider caffeine if you think that cortisol might be an issue for you. And maybe consider some anti-stress supplements like BCAAs to help bring those elevated levels down. Um, making sure your nutrition's on track. So those are the things that you can do five ways that naturally, without buying a special pill, right, without doing anything crazy, to bring elevated cortisol levels down. Now it's not high levels, oh, it's high levels over time that are the issue, okay? So are we all clear with that? We need um, like a hashtag. What's our hashtag gonna be? Oh, it's Beyond Fit Army, duh. Cause we're like on a mission to spread the news of like fitness that's done right. Are you guys in? Are you guys in with me? Fist pump. Okay, fist pumps, fist pumps. So um, I'm gonna stay on for a few more minutes. Let's see what time it is. I'm trying to keep these short. Is 30 minutes too long? We've been going about 30 minutes every day. Do you guys feel like that's too long? Fist pump in the ant, I love it. That's our sign, that's our code. Uh, I'm gonna try to pare these down a little bit. Like what, tell me in the comments what would be like a good length. Am I too chatty? 15 to 20 minutes, okay, shoot. So here's what I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need someone next broadcast to keep me accountable. <laughs> Maybe we'll try for 20. Um, you prep your food while, while I talk. Oh, great. Well, that works. Um, I just I just love you guys. I just This is like my heart. I love you, and I don't want to waste your time. You guys are busy ladies, and um, I'm super busy, and I make this a priority because I want to connect with you, but I want to make sure that um, you're getting value from this. So by a show of hearts, are you getting value? Is this good? You do walks with the kids. That's perfect. That's your leisurely walk. I love it. Good. Okay, so, and then we'll try, maybe we'll try to do more like 20 minute stuff. Um, okay, yeah, you use these to relax and I'm good. Okay, good, 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 good. So if you want more value, go to beyondfitlife.com and download my workouts for the month. We're doing body type workouts, they're amazing. And then you'll get access to our like, 
Okay, the Beyond Fit Sisters are the best group of women like in the in the world. So if you want access to support, accountability, um, just a private forum where you can ask me all of your questions, you need to go to beyondfitlife.com and join and then post all of your questions in our private Facebook page, okay? Um, does it cost anything? It's a little bit, but it's an investment in yourself. And um, the cost that you would pay for like a personal trainer, it's not even near that cost. Like it's insane. Like the deal that you get, it's like seriously priceless. Like sisters that are on, you need to tell everybody else how much you love the Beyond Fit Sisterhood. It is amazing. Like the support and accountability seriously from these ladies, I can't like, I can't even tell you. Like it is so cool. Um, Apple cider vinegar, there have been some studies that say that maybe it helps with digestion. I take a probiotic so I don't need anything else. I would suggest probiotic first. Yeah. Um, carbs, that's going to depend on your body type. Yeah. So, um, some people need more carbs than others. If you haven't listened to our body type, uh, webinar from this month, go to beyondfitlife.com slash webinar replay, and that's free. So it's a free training beyondfitlife.com slash webinar replay. And you'll listen to me talk for an hour on the three different body types of women and how to adjust your nutrition. So this will, this will answer your carb question based on your body type, which is pretty cool. Okay, so one more thing before we go. I have to show you this shirt. Bodybuilding, can you see it? Bodybuilding.com sent me this. How cool is it? It's a heart with like weights and it says like train and inspire and fit and dream. And so like, I love it. It's so, it was so cool that they sent me, um, sent me that shirt. So I love it. It's super cute. And what else? I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. We will plan to talk tomorrow sometime around the 11 o'clock hour. And I think I'm going to rope Patrick into yeah, it's purple, so it's awesome. I love it. Purple hearts. I think I'm going to rope Patrick into talking with me too. So be ready to see his face. Maybe. We'll see. Um, swipe to share. Give me one last stream of some serious hearts. And um, I hope everybody has a great day. It's Friday Eve, which is good. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, so we just have these terrible colds over here. And um, I'm hoping that I don't get it. Who knows? I probably will. It started with Jackson. Um, no, actually it started with Warren. Then he passed it to Jackson and then Patrick was sick. He actually came home from work, which he never does. Um, so yeah, boo for colds, thumbs down. And then emoji with that little, that little mask. That's what I am. I'm like, nobody get me sick. Like I do not want to get, I don't want to get sick. I know there were a lot of questions that were streaming that I probably missed. If I missed your question, I'm so sorry. It's not that I don't love you or that I'm ignoring you. Um, I am so chatty that I'm focusing on what I'm saying that sometimes, yeah, sometimes I miss. Yes, we are finishing up, so watch the replay. Go back and watch the replay. You can watch it right now. Um, sometimes I miss the question. So any question you have, you can post in the members group if you're a Beyond Fit Life member on Facebook or just the main Beyond Fit Mom Facebook page. Post your questions and I'm happy. I'm there every day to check in and I'll answer those for you. And you need to join Beyond Fit Life because it's the best. Beyondfitlife.com. Okay. I love you guys. Have a great day. I'll talk to you tomorrow. And um, okay. See ya. Bye.